Well, hello everybody. RV living with the geezer. And I'm down here in uh, Alpine, Texas. And I'm going to take you on a little tour of uh, historic Murphy Street. So, uh, first of all, I want to show you, I got this card today from my buddy Scott. Scott's been a a big supporter of this channel for quite a few months now and uh, probably over a year he sent me a, an appreciation card for the videos I do and said he wanted to send some uh, uh, appreciation for uh, the driving videos and he sent me an extremely nice uh, uh, gift so uh, thank you Scott I appreciate it, buddy, and it's also from his uh, two uh, little fur pals. Try and do this with one hand. Let's see here. Uh, Brandy, Scott, Brandy, and Lily. Thank you, Scott. He's up. He goes up and spends his summers in good old Riodoso right now. So he's way cooler than we are. But, uh, thanks a lot, Scott. Man, it. Very, very timely. Very timely gift. Yeah. So this isn't Murphy Street yet. We're going to, then one block over, and then I'll make the turn. Uh, this is the, uh, I believe they use this for soccer, Sol Ross, and it's their track. And uh, here's the girls' uh, softball stadium. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all. And there's Sol Ross sitting up on the hill. And now we are on historic Murphy Street. Yeah, I hope I'm not going, sun is more overhead, so we ought to be right. It's uh, about 2.06. Let's see, here's the soccer field right here this nice rock wall around it. There's the soccer field. That other was just a practice field. This is Jackson Stadium. This is where the Lobos play their football. Let's see if we can peek in there. Yeah. It's a nice stadium. Yeah. They just moved up from Division Three school, which means they didn't give athletic scholarships. Uh, they just moved up to Division Two, so they're gonna. That's a big step up. They're gonna be uh, playing some a uh, lot better competition, and but they're gonna be able to uh, have athletic scholarships. So, uh, any of you kids out there that are desiring to come to school at a great university? Work on your athletics, whatever you specialize in, you may get a free ride out here at Sol Ross. Sure love to see one of my granddaughters or several of them come out here when the time is right. But uh, anyway, here's Murphy Street, guys. And uh, Alpine was called Murphyville to begin with. It was a, ra a railroad stop. When the railroad came through here, they formed a town for a railroad stop. So it was Murphyville for a while. I think it was like back in the 1850s. I'm not sure on the dates. I, sh I should have done some research, but being the geezer that I am, I didn't. So nothing, nothing new about that, huh? But uh, we're gonna, but, uh, Murphy Street evidently was one of the first streets put in. Uh, it runs right behind the railroad station and uh, parallel with the tracks. And uh, it's probably got some of the older businesses down here. So, uh, yeah, here's where they have the, uh, every Saturday, they have the farmer's market here. This little area right there. It's uh, really a good farmer's market. Yeah, Linda used to come and uh, buy some stuff there just about every Saturday. Really good produce and fresh eggs and 
This is the Hotel Ritchie right here. And a few years back, they just renovated it. And uh, it's, uh, I believe it's a, wine, a place you come and uh, can uh, drink a little wine in the evenings now. But they put a lot of work into that place. This place on the corner right here is the, used to be the Raspa Company right here. They had snow, Raspa is snow cones in uh, Spanish. And uh, yeah. Talgars, that's an art studio. Look at these little little uh, businesses all in here. Here's another studio. See all the trucks and cars? People coming into town right now because for Viva Big Bend. Uh, the Bottle House, they're sitting out there. They got a food trailer right there, that old Airstream. Oh, Jamie Macon, we got a freight train sitting over here to my right. Yep, it stopped right at the depot over there. This is the old, this big building here is the old wool and mohair building. Uh, when I first started uh, living out here, I went to the, the cowboy church, used to be right inside there, dirt floors. And now Morrison's bought it, and uh, it's a, uh, uh, they use it as a, uh, oh, come on, he's a storehouse, uh, warehouse, Morrison's hard, uh, hardware. There you go, there you go, Jamie, there's the freight train. Yeah, I wanted to get a shot, let me see if I can spin around, let's see if the, I thought I could get a good shot of the... Uh, the rest of it is just residential down that way. It runs out west a ways. But that was the business part of... Uh, I wanted to get a shot of the back of the railroad depot because it's really... They got a beautiful depot here. And Alpine has a lot of, of uh, murals. See this big old... This was a wool and mohair... Uh, original buildings. They back when uh, goats out here were a big deal. Government used to subsidize goat uh, wool, uh, mohair, and they don't anymore. They stopped it, so that that stopped a lot of the ranchers. There's the depot. That's the back of the depot right there. Pretty cool, huh? Alpine is really a nice, it is a nice town. Yeah, my girls used to love the Rosper Company, but they changed it now. They don't do snow cones anymore. The last time they came out, we walked all the way over here for a snow cone. We did a hike. We got in there, and it, it's just a gift shop. It's just like the guy in, uh, it's like the guy in uh, Fort Davis that, you know, did away with the drugstore. <laughs> I don't, it's their money. I've said that a few times before. Print Co., they'll do almost anything for you there. Very good business. Yeah, we're just doing a double tour. There's an old food truck they have there at the farmer's market. See the little covered deal for the vendors? It's a law office right there. And I'll give you a shot here of uh, Saul Ross up on the hill. And we'll just go ahead and end the video. See Saul Ross up there? That's Hancock Hill right behind it. Saul Ross is a beautiful campus, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll do a video up there soon. I want to do a video of the uh, Big Ben Museum also. All right. Peace out, everybody. This is the geezer from Alpine, Texas, saying keep your heads up and stay positive. Stay blessed and uh, just have a good one. And thanks again, Scott, for the uh, 
driving videos. You you, you got a several of them sponsored there, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Adios.